We mentioned the Trendelenburg test and this is actually a test of hip stability but it's relevant to patellofemoral pain syndrome because we mentioned that if the um, hip or the foot changes its alignment it can pull the rest of the leg into that um, out of line position and in so doing affect the pressure within the kneecap joint. So the Trendelenburg is simply um, a measure of your ability to stand on one leg and to keep the pelvis horizontal. So if I'm standing on two feet, obviously my weight is going through both feet. But as I want to bend one knee, in order to do that, I need to sway to the side, lift this leg up, and then I'm stabilized on the outer hip muscles and if that stability is poor because the muscles are weak or they can't contract long enough then the pelvis will tip and that is known as a positive Trendelenburg test so you stand your client on one leg do they dip down and if they do dip down if they dip down markedly they'll need to compensate by moving their spine so that dip becomes compensated by the person bending to the side and that's known as a positive compensated Trendelenburg sign. So standing on one leg, does that pelvis stay still or does it dip? And if it dips the hip will shift outwards and as it does so it's changing the angle of the whole of the lower leg.